Hey guys, just hired two new housekeepers and I like them a lot. And you won't believe it, I got them on Craigslist. People are still using Craigslist nowadays. So we've got these five units here that we're trying to wrap up, admittedly like a week behind. And then going to the woodlands to set up two, three bedrooms, which I'm excited about. Those will perform really well. It's fun to be back at the front again. It's really cool. Um, and of course my ADHD self thought, why not do some footage on how to fold towels again? I think it's been like six years since I've done a like linens towels video. So um, cue the montage. Let's go. It may be one of the very last nice days of the year. I'm gonna soak that in. Guess what I'm up to next? A little bit of painting. One of these five units, I just had an idea. It needs some purple on the walls. Because of the new headboard concept that we're doing, it's gonna be really sick. But I've gotta to try to paint it very fast. So I'm gonna to go to Home Depot or somewhere. Yeah. These are really fast. It's really nice outside. Really nice outside. Traffic is nuts here in Dallas. Um, I am almost to the property so I can finish painting tonight. Try to get that done. I'm training these two new housekeepers that I trained today, continuing that tomorrow. And I'd like to be ahead of this because I want all five done, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon because i got to go to the woodlands for two more. It's a very busy month, so... <sighs> got to breathe sometimes. Too much coffee. If I didn't spend 94% of my battery posting TikTok videos today, I might have had enough juice to comfortably get through this whole video with you. It might die, but we're going to try. Let's go. Do you dare me to open this right here? I probably would have. I'm going to do it! I'm gonna do it! No! There's really no good place to open a can of paint. It's gonna go somewhere on the floor every time. I know what you're gonna say. If I didn't say that, would it still happen? And the other half of you are saying, if it's gonna go on the floor, why don't you just put plastic on the floor and put the can on the plastic and open it on the floor? I'm getting old. It's my back. It's probably my back. And speaking of not following instructions, I totally didn't follow the instructions. These are supposed to have four things. I only put two on each one. That's why you can feel a wiggle. Because I wanted to save the hardware. These panels rock so well that I can cut corners and they still don't look like trash. Because you guys know I'm ADHD. I like to work fast. I cut corners pretty much almost everywhere. Almost everywhere. Oh my God. I went to go show you how I got paint on my fingers and they got paint on the bed. <laughs> and I just put paint on my phone where you press go to record. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Yeah, I did that already. That already happened. And this is the recording button culprit. I'm such a hot mess. Crisis averted, but I totally forgot to tape the wall before I started painting. Like I almost wrecked something else. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know why you follow me. This is nuts. Actually, I take that back. If I can do it, if I can grow my business to over 100 doors, so can you. Because yes, this is my real life. I'm that forgetful, I'm that much of a klutz, and I still pulled it off. Flash 
vision seems so clear and cursive bring your fears back down earth and i won't ever forget the things you've said but that won't ever change the truth of what we did so now that you broke the glass just take a piece you'll find on the floor. So this paint's going on really fast. So far it's really good with just one coat of paint. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. The reason why I did such a quick job with it is just to get that wall dry so that way we can hang a shelf on it tomorrow morning. One of the cleaners that I hired is actually going to be painting painting officially but of course I jumped the gun. I didn't want to wait for him to do the whole thing and then wait for it to dry. So tomorrow we should have a finished product as long as the shelves come in on time. Approximately 10 hours later. Good morning friends. Today's a new day, messy hair and all. Let's try to get these units done today. Hopefully the shelves come in so we can finish that purple wall. It's really what I'm holding out to show you. And hopefully the housekeepers that I trained yesterday show up for work today. Those are the big variables. I'm out of coffee. I normally grind my own every morning. Merit is pretty good. And um, I just haven't gone to get new beans. So we're gonna have to take a walk down to my old penthouse Katie Coffee Lab to grab coffee there and then we're gonna hit the road and start finishing these up. Let's go. Always in a Bucky's cup. Editor's note, I should confess, I'm not exactly sure about these properties. We've been using a real estate director, guy I hired a little over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, to pick up all of our deals. And it was a little rocky starting. It took about seven months of me paying him before we started to get some deal flow. And some of the deal flow is hit or miss. And this property I was unsure about, but I'm like, let's go for it because the rents are super low. And my business model has always been to take advantage of low rents, but this is a C-class property that they made a B-class. So the finishes are really nice. So I think the photographs are gonna be good. That's cool and the lower rents mean that we can have a, an aggressive pricing strategy that might stick if we end up in a phase where people are just being more price conscious and you know airbnb's pushing that anyway we, or at least we hear so those are positives but a c-class property is a c-class property um they've done a lot of good work on the outside to make it pretty but just the basics like the bones of a property when it's a c-class aren't necessarily the best one of the units, actually two of the units had roaches, a persistent roach problem when we picked up the building and it delayed our launch like a week and a half. So, and hopefully that doesn't pop back up when we're operating, that's happened before. And dealing with infestations of any kind, terrible for reviews, terrible for operations. Short-term rentals, people don't stay long enough to do bad stuff long enough to be usually the cause for roaches. Normally it's a neighbor um, or t Texas, we've got those big bucks, but, um, yeah, so that's my thoughts. I'm not exactly certain about this property, but I'm determined to make it work because I want to prove that I can. Middle child or something syndrome. And also, I should not be shooting videos with you at this time of the day. It's like 9.30, and I day trade Tesla every day. And right now is like the heat of the moment, and I'm currently in a position, and I should be watching my position, but instead I'm talking to you guys. So. Who knows, maybe if I do more video content like this, you'll just see whether or not I'm getting my butt terribly kicked every day. Um, I'm short currently Tesla. It opened just under 240 because yesterday was the day that it jumped to 246 and rejected this morning. Um, I'm short bias on Tesla, but the India news um, is a fun rumor and inflation data is always you know, a dice roll, but I'm short over 200. Um, but I knew that there was going to be a bounce because we pushed back from 299. So around 200 last time I touched down there, I went long, like I think like 205. I went long to 216. And then it just kept going because of India stuff. So um, I'm short again, but I'm willing to play it both ways because volatility is volatility. With that said, I'm going to have coffee, watch the stock, get to this new property. The housekeepers are coming. That's really good. And let's finish these properties up so I can show you something cool. I've been thinking about the Shelby Church quitting Airbnb video and the 
hullabaloo around it. There's a 10% tax going down in California. I believe it's all of California, not just Joshua Tree. And this is going to have an impact on apartments, not so much on houses based on this logic. Hotels don't compete with homes nearly as much, right? No hotel has a four bedroom house. Hoteliers are going to have to pay the same 10% tax on a home if they do short term rentals too. There's just no way that they can get around it. So everybody's gonna be paying 10% more for houses no matter who the provider is. So short term rentals that are apartments will have a 10% higher cost structure and they're more similar to hotels, which means hotels can get their advantage back against apartments, studios, one bedrooms. That is where the cost matters, I think. But for your experiential homes, your bigger stuff, stuff with private pools, private hot tubs, stuff like that, I think the guests will still pay that 10% more because it's the option that they want. They're not going to pick hotels either way. This will cause a dropout in the short-term rental supply because there are hosts who are going to fear that and they're going to sell their properties first thinking that it's going to tear Airbnb apart. And so since home prices are inflated and people are worried about a pullback, they'll preemptively sell their properties and supply might drop, which means there'll be less homes, but guests will still be sticky, which means maybe the homes remaining might even make a little bit more money, but I think it'll be a net loss for apartments. I'm almost to these five properties finally. This is what a target run looks like. So I have a guest that wants to cancel. Check this story out. They booked and less than 24 hours later they need to cancel for some serious personal reason that they know they have to cancel for based on what they said. But this is the message they gave me. They said, hey, we recently booked your reservation but we might have to cancel for this serious certain reason. Since we booked less than 24 hours ago, would you be willing to give us a refund if we canceled our reservation? So check this, guys. I think a lot of you will agree with me. A guest, in that case, knowing that they need to cancel and not stay, or not stay, they should just cancel their reservation. And the better way to go about this, the more cooperative way, is to say, hey, we had to cancel something very serious, personal came up, they can explain themselves if they want. And then they can say, we canceled to free up your calendar so you can get a new reservation we are hoping you can consider giving us a reservation refund even though it's not part of your cancellation policy. I'm looking forward to your thoughts, something. Thank you so much. That would be way better. Instead of a guest holding a host's calendar hostage for a reservation they know they're gonna cancel anyway, going, we'll only free up your calendar if you give us a refund. Like, guys. So naturally more plot twists. I'm now in downtown Dallas. One of our newest housekeepers, not one of the two I hired, but a third one, called in today, said they couldn't get in until 6 p.m. So me and one of those other new housekeepers, we're here at a property, and we're gonna clean two apartments real fast, part of his training, might as well get it done. And then I'm gonna go back to do the photography for the five units that you're going to see here soon. So yeah, let me get to racing to clean two units because it's already 315. We have to be done by four, it's not gonna happen, but um, we can talk about how we manage that later. There is a way that we communicate with guests so that way we know which units to clean and you know how to mitigate all those damages from being late on a cleaning, because it happens. Like The one thing about this industry is things don't go according to plan and you have to make stuff work. So remember how I told you this is a C-class property that they turned into a B-class? Well. 
sometimes when you do these renovations, things just don't go the way you plan them to go. Check this out. Let me hit this light switch here real fast. What? The TV is connected to the light switch. You damn straight, I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna find a plate to go over this so people can't touch this button. This is the only way to get this. Otherwise people are gonna be like, what's going on, help us. <laughs> Little things, guys. So in summary, we just do something with this section of wall here. Um, probably a tall mirror, maybe. And then of course get the actual correct photos. These are gonna be mostly white. It's gonna be very subtle, like gray in there. But all four paintings will actually be nearly identical, so it's gonna be a really cool look. And then a throw blanket, like a, like a nice soft gray throw blanket, or maybe even something that's a shade of purple, some accent pillows, and this room will be tight. We might even do like a pop of color that's not a secondary color, because like the greens and purples are secondary. So we might just throw like a really like bright color, maybe like a, I would, I would hate to say yellow because it's like the opposite of purple, but we might actually do it. So um, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. What pillow color I choose. All right guys, next up I'm off to the Woodlands to set up two three bedroom apartments. I already set up five one bedrooms at the same property. There's some drama there. I'll have to catch you up on that when we make the next video. For now though guys, as adventurous and fun as this is, I encourage you to watch my very seriously toned educational content if you wanna learn how to do Airbnb pricing strategy or like housekeeper management, photography, everything. You know, I'm gonna pick this video. Watch this video next because if you wanna stage units, that video is remarkably helpful. And for now, thank you so much for watching this video. It means a ton. And as always, I'll see you on the other side. Hi.